Windows 8 machine and as you can see I've got two users on there and I don't know the password for either of those user objects so I've lost them so what I'm going to do is I'm going to reboot this machine and I'm going to boot it with a boot CD I'll put the link to that on the website so you can download the image obviously your machine needs to be able to boot from CD before it's hard drive otherwise this won't work and when it's finished at the main menu when it's booted to the CD simply press enter to boot okay we'll list all the hard drives that it finds we only have one and it's labeled as number one so simply enter one because that's the hard drive that we're going to be dealing with and press enter now by default it'll look for the default location for the windows registry which is windows system 32 config so simply press enter and we want option one password reset so type in the number one and press enter once again we want to edit use it user data and passwords so once again we want option one simply type in the number one and press enter and you see it's listed the users there there's my user that I'm dealing with Pete Long so I am simply going to type in that username to let the system know that that's the user we're going to be editing and hit return well, I'm going to simply blank the password uh, that's option one you can use option two and change the password from here if you want to but I'm going to blank the password and then I'm going to type in an exclamation mark just to quit out of here because I've blanked the password and then I'm going to type in a Q to quit once again and press enter and I'm going to type Y in to commit the changes that we've made and to write those changes back here if you typed in Y you could edit another user but I'm just going to simply edit that one user so I'm going to type in N for no because I've finished and now I'm going to remove the boot CD from the drive otherwise when I reboot it I'll just boot back in here again and I'm going to press Control, Alt and Delete to reboot the machine and boot back into Windows Here I am, back at the Windows login. Now because my user object doesn't have a password, it's going to log on automatically. And if you're happy with that, that's brilliant. But I'm going to assign a password back to this user, so I'll press Control i and change PC settings. And the section, the second option, option down is Users, and on there you'll see that I have the option to create a password. And now I can set the password. To whatever I want it to be. Type it in again to confirm. You have to type a password in, in otherwise I won't let you go any further. Next. Finish. Now just to prove that that actually works, if I sign out, now when I attempt to log in as my Pete Long user object, it should ask me for a password. And as I've just changed it, I now know what it is. And that's me back into Windows with my password reset. Thanks very much for watching. Don't forget to come and visit us at www.peatnetlife.com.